In this video, I'm going to show you how I'd use Canva to create a seamless Tumblr app. Now by seamless, I mean that the image is continuous all the way around so that when you sublimate it onto a blank Tumblr, you don't get that seam down the back, you don't get that hard visible stop. Now I'm going to create a Valentine's Tumblr app today, but this tutorial is not just for Valentine's. You can use this process for any holiday that's coming up for any design that you want to create. Let's jump into Canva. So inside of Canva, if you look down the left hand side, you can see the Dream Lab here. If you're on the free version of Canva, you can get up to 20 free prompts per month. That's currently as at the time of making this video and 500 if you're on the pro or teams. So if we click on the Dream Lab, and here we have our AI image creator. Now I created a prompt for Valentine's Day. I wanted to do something cute like a bear. So a charming and adorable hand-drawn illustration of a fluffy bear. And I go on to say that it's in pastel colors, flowers, balloons, and such like. I'll leave this prompt below. Now you have various different styles that you can use. I just like to keep it on the smart one, but you've all those, so have a click through and have a look. I like to use 16 by 9 it's a little bit wider than what we want but it just gives us a little bit more scope when we put the image into the correct size of template. So we copy and paste the prompt and we put it here in the image generator. Click create and see what it creates. Now it's come up with some really cute designs. I didn't like this style but there's quite a lot of these that have been quite cute. If you don't like what it's created click it again run it again and it'll tell you how many credits you've got left up here. So I think this one's quite sweet, cute bear, and we've got some with the other side. So if I click the arrow to download it, and now I want to go to the home page and I want to create a custom size template for our Tumblr app, click custom size, and I want to make it 9.55 inches by 8.2 inches. Now this is a little bit wider than sometimes that you see, a little bit wider than what your Tumblr will measure all the way around, but I like to do it that little midges extra so that I've got margin for error. So whether that's when I'm cutting my design out on my cutter, on my guillotine, and to allow for a bit of shrinkage when you're sublimating it onto the blank Tumblr. So 9.55 by 8.2 and click the inches button there. Create new design. Now that creates our Tumblr app template. Now I want to click on Uploads and I want to upload that design that we've just downloaded. And I want to drag that across and drop it in there. So let's make it fit where we're happy with it. Let's make it fairly central. Get the bear in the middle. Now because that image is actually bigger than the template, if you double click on it you'll see the side. We want to download this so that we've just got that image that's that side. So click Download and then I'm going to actually get rid of this to get rid of any confusion. I'm going to now upload that image that we've downloaded into Canva again. I'm going to drop that into the template, make it the right size. Now I'm going to get a hold of that image and I'm going to move it across until I get it in the middle. Now you can see it sort of locks in. Now I want to copy this, I want to duplicate it and I want to put the two together. So I'm going to click on it and I can click here at these duplicate. Okay, then I can drag it across and I want to put them up together like that. So now you can see that there's a seam down the middle down there. So now I want to download this as a complete image because as you can see we can't work on that seam because there's two images there. Canva won't allow us to work on that seam without actually downloading this as an image on its own. So click the download button, download, let's add a page. And then again, go to your downloads and drag that in. And drag it into the template. Make it fit. And there you've got that seam down the middle that you can see that we want to get rid of. If you've got Canva Pro, we can use a magic edit. So click edit, go to the magic eraser, and then roughly go down the seam like that. Click the erase and you'll see that that's blended it together. Now click the erase again over that and 
and that's gone. And again, over this bit here. Now, that will be seamless. But if you've not got Canva Pro, let's go back to where we were. Let's just use the back button. We're going to have to disguise this seam in a different way. So go over to Elements and type in Pink Heart. Let's click on Filters because we only want the free one. If we've got the free account, otherwise we'll have to pay. See all. Let's have a look at this one so we can start with this yeah okay can also look for pink balloon again we've got the free ticked make that balloon big enough to disguise anything that's underneath. Now you could duplicate the heart again, make it a touch smaller. Again click the balloon, flip it over horizontal so it's just a different way around, maybe make it a little bit smaller. again flip horizontal we may want to turn that round as well and you can make it a little bit bigger smaller whatever you want to do you might even want to make that come to the front so layer to the front and then the balloon tail sits over And now that we've disguised that seam, we want to download that as a whole image. Click the arrow, download, page two, download, uploads, and upload that image now that's just downloaded. Let's move that across. Again, let's make it the right size. So now click on it till it outlines purple. Get hold of it and grab it and move it across and we want to move it to the centre again and you'll see where it clicks in. Again click on it, click the two pluses to duplicate the image, drag that across, put the two images together and then butt it up so that it matches. Now we've got the two halves but we want it as one complete image so we go again to download So now to check it, we go over to a site called patternchecker.com. It's a free site. I'll leave the link below. Click the upload image button, click our image, and there we have the seamless wrap. It doesn't matter that it's not seamless top to bottom because that's the top and bottom of your tumbler, but it's this seam here. So as you can see, the image is continuous. Now that I've downloaded my finished tumbler app, I want to upscale it and I want to make it 300 dpi for good print quality and to do that I use a tool called Topaz Gigapixel I'll leave the link below to it it's a paid tool but it's a one-off payment and I find it saves me lots of time because I can bulk upload it will bulk up scale and of course they're there done at 300 dpi for me but if you want to use a free upscaler and dpi converter then you can use these two sites and I'll, again I'll leave the links below the upscaler is imgupscaler.com drop your image into here click the upload and start and that will upscale your image for you and then get that upscaled image and then you can use this site to convert it to 300 dpi this site is convert-dpi.com again I'll leave the link make sure it's at 300 dpi drag your images into there and then you can download them and if you're enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up and a like that way you won't miss any more of my videos. My aim is to give you value to help you create your sublimation designs for digital products, physical products, print on demand products so that you can create, sell online and make money.
I've also got a free guide for you. There's a link below. 15 growing trends that are predicted to sell big on Etsy in 2025. Go and grab that as well as the trends. There's ideas for designs, for print on demand, for physical, for digital products. It'll give you lots of inspiration and lots of ideas. And go and watch this video next. 50 plus print on demand products that you can create with just one free image using a different free AI generator. And again, it's not just for print on demand. It's if you create your own physical products, digital products or anything, some super useful information in that. I'll see you in the next one.